Tell me, just tell me, tell me how you live it, how you get it, how you live it, how you get it. What's up y'all, so we received an all-terrain electric scooter to review. Oh! It goes 40 miles per hour. What? 40. <laughs> so at 40 miles per hour, this is the fastest electric anything that I've ridden. I've never ridden a bike or a scooter that goes that fast. So hopefully we can get through this video without having to go to the ER. You know what I mean? Um, my nephew is the <laughs> my nephew is the person that's going to test out the max speed of this scooter. He's the whole reason why I agreed to do a review on this scooter. But this is an all-terrain scooter, so I'm wondering if even though it can go 40 miles per hour, it doesn't feel like you're going 40 miles per hour because I think it has like suspension in the front and the rear, but we're going to test all that out. So the name of this scooter is Varla Eagle Electric Scooter. This is the first time that I have a scooter that has all of these bells and whistles. Um, LCD display, front and rear uh, lights, all terrain like I mentioned before, uh, two motors. It has two motors. I, I don't know where the two motors are, I'm assuming that they're in the front wheel and the rear wheel. This is the heaviest scooter that I've gotten. Um, although it's portable, it can fold and everything. So I think you can put it in your trunk and in the back seat of your car. But this scooter does weigh 77 pounds. Um, and the maximum weight of the rider is 330 pounds. So what we're gonna do is unbox this. We're gonna go through all of the features. We're gonna put it together. And then uh, I'm gonna compare this. We're gonna do a race between this scooter and the fastest electric bike that I have just so we can get an idea of just how fast this thing is. We're also going to test out the range of this scooter. It's advertised to go 40 miles per charge which is pretty good for an electric scooter. And uh, we're going to go on road and off road with this scooter to test out um, the tires and the suspension and everything like that. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, 40 miles per hour for an electric scooter. I'm curious to know <laughs> what that's like. Like what does that feel like going 40 miles per hour on a scooter? So without further ado, uh, you ready to put this thing together? Yeah. So the uh, scooter looked pretty pre-assembled and it was very securely packaged. Um, it had all of these, came with all of these foam boxes here, no damages. Uh, so let's go through everything it came with. First of all, this is a big scooter, <laughs> this is the biggest scooter that I've ever written. Um, this base here is like 9.1 inches wide, you know that's really wide for a scooter. Um, yeah, I can show y'all how wide that looks. Came with two hydro brakes, um, which is good for easier braking and a longer lifespan. You see the two suspensions here, like it's one in the rear, one in the front. Uh, that's what my nephew is excited about there, <laughs> the suspension. And uh, check out these tires, all terrain tires. Scooter has 10 inch tires in the front and the rear here. And it has two motors but it looks like the motors are in the front wheel and the rear wheel first time i've ever had a scooter that has two motors in it came with a set of keys i'm assuming these keys are to remove the battery but not sure just yet so let's quickly go through everything this scooter came with uh, it came with a an additional inner tube and again this is a 10 inch tire came with a cord which i think goes to the battery charger came with a wrench set to put the scooter together but i don't think we're going to have to use it a whole lot to be honest it's pretty pre-assembled and came with a package of a uh, black i think these go to the end of something like black closers but i'm not really sure what that's for just yet so let's first see what's in the box all right 
right, so let's see what all come in the box here. Let's see. Okay. So it looked like it was just a battery charger in the box and nothing else. So speaking of the uh, battery charger for the scooter, it takes eight to nine hours to charge with one charger, four to five hours to charge with two chargers. You seem pretty excited about the scooter, I'm man. Why? <laughs> this thing is pretty solid, bro. What do you mean by solid, man? Like this is like, Next level, ain't it? <laughs> Next level? Yeah, I ain't never seen no scooter like that. They can change, you can change the cover too? What you mean? They going, look at this. Oh, you can change the cover of the board. They going crazy, y'all know, they got, <laughs> they got all kind of different ones too. Look at this. Oh, dang. Dude. So you can decide which Pick board this. cover you want to put on. This one hard right here. So it didn't come with any instructions on how to put the handlebar together, but it looks pretty self-explanatory. So I think you just unscrew these mm -hmm. um, with the wrench set that they gave us and just put the handlebar on. All right, so we put this scooter together. So far, all we had to do was put the handlebar on. Now we're gonna go ahead and charge it. And I see why they said one charger, eight to nine hours, two chargers, four to five hours, because it looked like it has two slots here to charge your scooter, two slots, one and two. Gonna quickly go through how this scooter folds. It looks like you unscrew these clamps here. You can start unscrewing those for me. You unscrew the clamps here, and then this whole piece, you lift it up and then the scooter will fold down. Okay, so that's how you fold the scooter. To unfold it, you lift it back up. You, this black, uh, lift that up and down for me. See, you lift this down, lift it all the way down to the bottom. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to make sure that this clamp is down um, when you unfold your scooter here. So you're gonna bring the scooter up here. This clamp comes down, right? So you want this clamp to come all the way down to the bottom of this base, okay? And in order to do that, you usually have to wiggle it, wiggle this pole just a little bit, but this clamp is going all the way down to the, there's a base here, okay? But you want this clamp to go all the way down. That prevents your pole from moving while you're riding. These here, you really want to screw these tight, okay? So you have a really tight clamp here. So I'm going to screw both of these really, really tight here. So we will have to screw on all of these things on the handlebar of the scooter. It looks like they're loose, so we're going to have to do that. So we're not going to go through some of the features on this scooter. We're going to turn the scooter on first. So apparently the key that it came with is for the ignition on the scooter here. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever gotten an electric vehicle with, where the key is the ignition to the vehicle. So this is a really good thing because that makes it hard for people to steal your scooter. So apparently you have to use the key to turn the scooter on. Okay, so now that I've turned the ignition on, I'm gonna press this red button here, press and hold this red button to turn my screen on here. All right, so now my screen is on, so now let's go through some of the things on this screen. First of all, really loving the colorful display. Uh, at the top here, I have my uh, gear. This bike has three different gears. Gear one, which takes you up to 15 miles per hour. Gear two, 25 miles per hour. And gear three, 40 miles an hour. I also have my speed here i have my trip odometer here i have my battery power here if i want to change my mode at the top my gear at the top i press mode here so right now by default i'm in mode one or gear one if i click it i'm in gear two so now i could go 15 miles an hour no now i could go 25 miles an hour sheesh i click it again 
and now I'm in gear three, which means I can go 40 miles an hour. And again, this is a trigger throttle. So if I press this trigger down here, whoa. I want to go through some of the advanced settings of this display here. So if you press and hold mode and power at the same time for about three seconds, you go into another set of settings here on your display. And um, this is all in the instruction manual, but you can adjust like nine to 20 different things on this scooter. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Um, press the power button to go from one setting to the next. Uh, let me give you an example here. So setting one here, look like we have uh, 20 different settings we could change. So this first setting is the LCD brightness. We don't wanna change that. The odometer speed units, I'm gonna change that to mile instead of kilometers. So I press the mode button to change the value. You see that? Gonna go to the next setting here, which is the battery voltage. You don't, they don't want you to adjust that. And I'm using the power button to navigate from one setting to another. And speaking of the advanced settings, it looks like P17 can actually give you cruise control. And if you want to go back to your main screen, you just let it sit for a little bit or you can press and hold the mode and the power button. While you're on your original screen, if you want to turn the headlight and rear light on, press and hold the mode button and then it'll turn the headlights on. Y'all see those headlights? And it'll turn the rear lights on. So on the other side of this handlebar of this scooter, we have an eco turbo button on uh, the, in yellow here and we have a single dual button in red here do not press either of these while you're riding the first thing i have to mention do not press either of these buttons while you're riding now when you're not riding if you press this yellow button down it will turn on eco mode if you press it again and you press the button up it will be on turbo mode if you press this red button down it will be on dual motor mode. If you press it up, if you press it again and the button comes up, then you will be using the single motor mode. Okay, so we have pretty much put this scooter together. We're not gonna let it charge. Uh, the battery is built in. It looks like it's not easily removable. It's built into the board here. And this is a 52 volt, 18.2 amp hour battery also want to mention that the scooter does have a two-year warranty so now we're going to go ahead and let this scooter charge so that we can go outside and test out the modes so now what we're going to do is go through all of the different modes uh, we're going to go mode one then mode two and three we're going to try each mode on single motor then we're going to try it on dual motor so uh, without further ado, let's first try with mode one. First of all, I want to say that uh, this eco turbo button, I'm going to make sure that it's not pushed in because when it's pushed in, it's in eco mode, right? In eco mode, you're going to go a maximum of 15 miles per hour, regardless of what mode you're in and regardless of if you have this uh, dual motor selected. On the way down, we're going to make sure that it's in single mode, which means this is not going to be selected on the way back we're going to do dual mode which means this is is going to be pushed in okay so mode one uh we're in single mode on the way down so this is pushed out let's see how fast we go mode one 17 18 20 20 miles per hour. Wow. So now we're gonna go back on mode one still, but this time I'm gonna select dual. So I'm gonna make sure that this button is pushed in. All right, dual motor, mode one. Let's see how fast we go on the way back. Oh, shoot. So I still got 21 miles an hour, but I got there a lot faster. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, what this single dual motor option does is dual gets you to your miles per hour faster. Um, that's what it looks like so far, but let's continue to test. So I'm going to go down on single motor here, and I'm going to go to mode two. All right, mode two, single motor. Let's see how fast we go here. Oh, still has some kickoff. <laughs> Okay, 22, 23, 24, 25, woo! All right, so now we're gonna switch. We're still in mode two. We're gonna switch this to uh, dual motor. All right, let's see how fast we go on uh, mode two, dual motor. Y'all ready? All right, let's go. Oh, shoot! Jeez! Okay, I stand corrected. Um, that was 32 miles an hour on mode two, dual motor. So, yeah, dual motor just gives you more power. Okay, now we're gonna switch it to mode three. All right, we're in mode three. Uh, <laughs> y'all uh i'm gonna try not to kill myself here but um we're gonna go mode three single motor let's see how fast we go here mode three Let's try to uh forgive me if this is shaky but uh, i'm trying to be safe here 20 21 four Five. All right, about the same as mode two, 25 miles per hour, but I do have a short strip here. So now going back, we're gonna try dual motor. So we're gonna push this red button in. And uh, mode three, dual motor, my God. A little nervous, not gonna lie. All right, dual motor. Mode three, I'm gonna try to hang on. Okay. Oh, All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, still got up to 35, but I was still climbing. So what we're going to do is we're going to test out the max speed or my nephew is going to test out the max speed on a longer strip but that's pretty crazy that a scooter can go that fast. So we're going to start the test rides out by actually having a race. So this is my all-terrain e-bike and we're going <laughs> to race this all-terrain scooter against this all-terrain e-bike. This is the fastest all-terrain e-bike that I have which is a Hemiway Cruiser. So we're gonna uh, put this on uh, dual motor and we're gonna put this on mode three. I'm gonna put mine on mode five and we're gonna see who's the fastest. There's the weight difference here. I'm about 5'11", 180, you are? 230. 230 and how tall are you? 6'2". 6'2". So I'm the lighter person. I'm gonna be on this bike. He's the heavier person. He's gonna be on that scooter. So hopefully that balances it out a little bit. But I'm, I guess a, we'll I'm a duster. <laughs> All right, mode five. Up to the line. Don't cheat. All right, don't cheat. <laughs> of course, of course, I'm on throttle only. Ready? Yes, sir. Set. Go. Got to jump on your head. Ah, Lord. Dang. Going back, I'm gonna do uh, mode five uh, pedal assist because that's a little too fast. Probably, probably for the back. Pedal assist. I'm gonna give me a, give me a little leeway. Now what? Mode five, baby. Ah! 
Okay, so I got smoked. Um, I tried to first race them on throttle only, the throttle only. Wasn't even close. And then I tried mode five, electric assist. Still got smoked and he gave me some leeway on the way back. So this thing is fast. Like, <laughs> and it's not just like, um, it's not just like it has a high miles per hour. It takes off fast. Yeah, this like thing it has like a, a fast takeoff. It's like a rocket, right? But you can adjust that with your um, with the settings here. But pretty impressive so far. So now what we're gonna do is um, ride around the neighborhood a little bit. Slow down a little bit. Okay, so we're about to test out the maximum speed. Uh, my oh so brave nephew here. <laughs> we're about to see just how fast we can go. We got a nice little strip here. So uh, how you feeling? You feeling nervous? Hey, just riding it up here. I'm pretty confident. You pretty confident? Let's say a little prayer for my nephew before we go. I like it just because it's fast. I like fast. the suspension too, because I just want to hit some bumps. Okay. Down there. Okay. And it was pretty smooth. Like, I didn't feel no, okay. no hassle or nothing. But Of the two, what you like the most is the suspension or the speed? The speed. <laughs> Okay, so Varla Eagle electric scooter. Uh, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Initially, I was like, just from looking at it, I was completely terrified. Of it. <laughs> I was terrified because of, because of the size of it. The size. You say you say it goes up to forty miles an hour. I was like, <laughs> nah, not for me. But when I got on it. It's a lot more stable than I thought it was going to be. Mm. Your average scooter that you rent downtown, like those average ones, uh -huh. they're really unstable. Like they're if shaky. You, if you go over a crack in the road, you're going to feel it. Yeah. This, I didn't feel anything like the bounce. In you the, like the suspension, huh? The bounce that you feel <laughs> with the suspension, I see there's one in the front and one in the back. Yeah. But it just makes you feel like, okay. There's a crack coming up. I'm not scared of the crack anymore. <laughs> we went over gravel. Yeah. We went over rocks. Like it took everything real smooth. So. Yeah. And I know you didn't want to put like it. it. I know you rode on eco mode the whole time. Yeah, because I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on a scale from one to ten, what would you give this scooter? I can't find anything wrong. So that means it would have to be a ten. A ten. So this is the first time ever you've given something a 10. Yeah, it is. Like, I literally can't find anything wrong. And initially I thought that it was going to come with, um, what's this? A twist throttle. A twist throttle, but it comes with this. A trigger throttle. Trigger yeah. throttle. Yeah. And this is actually better. You like the trigger throttle. For the control, for the control of the scooter. Thought I'd give y'all some more footage uh, from a point of view. Plus, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, right? So, 
I'm on mode 2 um, turbo mode and I am in dual I always love that and I'm using dual motors so that's what our point of view is going to be today I'm going to go through some gravel here so y'all can see what this is like on this electric scooter on gravel y'all ready? y'all see the gravel? <laughs> let's go hey I'm on gravel here pretty smooth pretty smooth to be honest a bit of a straightaway here so I'm gonna put it on mode 3 really quickly test out the speed a little bit <laughs> mode 3 Alright, so pretty consistent with what my nephew said and I'm I weigh 180 pounds. Looks like I went 37 maximum, 37 miles per hour. That's pretty fast, Joe. But it didn't feel like I was losing control or anything or I didn't have control, so So now we're gonna do some off-roading. So we're going that way. <laughs> All terrain, huh? We gonna see. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, pretty smooth. Go a little faster. And I think it rained yesterday, so it might be a little muddy out here. But um, yeah, going through the bumps, really smooth. I don't know if y'all can see that, but don't even hear anything really jiggling or shaking. Yeah, pretty smooth, yeah down here and see hey 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 all right let's continue to go off road here to some grass So Varla Eagle One electric scooter, by far the best electric scooter that I've written. Um, I love the fact that it's all terrain, I love the suspension, um, I love the speed, um, I love the fact that you can switch between single and dual motors, and I love the size. Like um, seriously, this is a really beefy scooter even though you can fold it up and put it in your trunk. It's so beefy, I think uh, there's a seat that you can buy that goes with this scooter. If I buy that seat. I mean, I think with the size and the speed of this, this is pretty much a moped, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and regarding the battery life, after riding this scooter for one hour, I lost two out of five battery bars. So this scooter is currently advertised to be $16.99, but if you use my link in my description below and use my discount code that's in my description below, you can get this scooter for $15.99. You can get $100 off, which I think is a pretty good deal. On a scale from 1 to 10, I would give this scooter a 10. <laughs> With the size, the speed, the bells and whistles, the suspension, the all-terrain tires. I mean, what more could you ask for? Um, so uh, comment below, let me know what you would give this scooter on a scale from 1 to 10. Is there any other scooters that you want me to review? 
any other bike that you want me to review, uh, also comment below. Thank you all for watching. Peace.